Hi, it's Chris here. What this video is, is it's just a collection of a bunch of TikToks I made where I rank from uh, eight to one the first eight films of the DC Expanded Universe. So that's Man of Steel right up to Shazam. My personal opinions, uh, just how, how I'd rank them. If you uh, agree or disagree, feel free to post a comment. Uh, Always welcome to some, uh, always welcome some healthy debate, and uh, I hope you enjoy. It's pretty short. I think uh, it's about. It's probably going to be about three minutes. Uh, hope you enjoy. Be excellent to each other. See you soon. My rankings of the first eight DC Universe films. Bottom of the pile, number eight, the Harley Quinn movie. I know it's a bit of prey film, but it's essentially Harley Quinn film. My issue with this is I'm not massively fussed on the Harley Quinn character. I think she's a bit overhyped and I didn't find her that sympathetic. But I did like a few things about it. So the positives are Ewan McGregor was great as a villain. He was really hateable. Uh, the way they did the Huntress was kind of fun and, and quirky. And that sandwich that Harley eats looked lush. Number seven, Suicide Squad. Just felt like a mess, like they'd filmed a bunch of stuff and then tried to hack it together. And you felt that a lot was missing. Basically, this movie fails because I just don't buy tons of stuff about it. I don't buy the Captain Boomerang would come back. I don't buy the whole we're family thing. And I don't buy that this is the kind of team you put together for a Superman kind of threat. But it's fun and the cast do their best. It just feels sloppy. Anyway, part two coming soon. DC Movie Rankings, part two. And we start off with number six, which is Justice League. Negatives for this. Feels a bit rushed introducing all the characters. We don't really learn much about them and I don't really care about the Flash or Cyborg. Also, I remember getting bored and that's not a good sign in a superhero film. Superman's comeback from the dead, not a surprise as well. That being said, there are positives. I thought Ben Affleck was a great Bruce Wayne and Batman and there were little parts I liked, especially the part where um, Aquaman sits on the lasso of truth. That scene made me laugh. Number five, Batman vs Superman. It has its flaws, but for me, it's more interesting than Justice League. I like the fact that they had Batman already be established so we didn't get another origin story. I really liked that they addressed all the destruction from Man of Steel, which was an issue for me. But they wasted Doomsday. He's got to be a villain later on in a DC universe. And I hated this version of Lex Luthor. Ranking all the DC movies, part three, and we're going to kick off with number four, Man of Steel, where they started the whole expanded universe. This film has a ton going for it. It looks great. Amy Adams is a great Lois Lane. Henry Cavill looks superb as Superman, and they do Zod really well. Minor quibbles. I don't like the fact that they had Clark, uh, Jonathan Kent tell him not to save people to keep his secret. It just didn't fit for the character, because that's why Clark is a hero, because the Kents raised him right. The killing Zod thing I can overlook because his hand was forced. And I like that they didn't do the whole nerdy Clark Kent thing because I don't think Henry Cavill could pull it off. Number three, Wonder Woman. I really like this film, which was a surprise because I'm not that fussed on the character normally. I think Gal Gadot did a great job capturing Diana having to deal with the world of man and how she felt about it. Chris Pine is good and the whole movie is quite fun. Only issue, the war is bad theme is muddled. You can't make out that war is bad and then show the Amazons being really cool when they do it. Ranking the DC movies, part four, and it's the top two. And it's straight in at number two, Aquaman. This is kind of a surprise to me because he's never been a character I've rated that much. But the film is tons of fun, and sometimes that's enough. The film it reminded me most of was Flash Gordon, the 80s cheese fest, which is a film I loved as a kid. I just love the way it's got this lunk-headed hero and this really rich world of different cultures with ancient foods and stuff. Great fun, great version of the character. My favourite DC movie so far, Shazam. I just love the whole concept, the way they use the teen in an adult's body. Lots of fun. Zachary Levy is brilliant. He's great in everything for me. And it's just fantastic. It's also got a really great heart. And I love the story of the family coming together. It's just wonderful. And a great villain in Mark Strong. And I just love it. It's a really good, happy film.